Commander Henning, Olga Enders, EWG Black Secretariat, Observers and Participating Leaders of the Summit. Uh, this morning will have the private conference to our regular group of projects with the track ID number 24 is in 009. 24 is in 0010. 24 is in 0011. 24 is in 0012. 24 is in 0013. 24 is in 0014. 24 is in 0015. And 24 is in 0016. Uh, But before we will start our project conference, we ask the box secretary for the attendance. Good morning, everyone. So, this is the list of activities for this private conference. Starting from the back chairman, Edith Igogo, the back vice chairman, Gina M. Sugabo, back regular member, Gina Chikalibo, and back professional members, Dennis Itubala and J. Vincent Sipali. We also have the head of TWG, head of TWG, Christian George Sipali, and members. Bernard Zidoran and Alman Chalpinia. We also have the Box Secretariat members, Dona Miros J. Duan, Chris Trolley, Ali Pumalika, Rex Ipal, and Maya Estrella Trasha every morning. Mr. Chair, based on the attendance logbook, all the members of the BAC are present, therefore, the BAC is in form. Thank you, Secretary. So, since we have a quorum, uh, let's continue our previous components. Now, the topic to be discussed this morning is first is the brief uh, presentation, explanation for the work. Uh, we have the basis of three subtopics. The third is the Visit contract data, including contract description, EBC and duration. This will be discussed by Junior Donami Rose Durag. And letter B, requirements, biddings, including instruction to bidders, general condition of contract, special condition of contract, the specifications during the drawings, bill of quantities and forms. Uh, this will be discussed by Engineer Bernard C. Durant. And for the C, documents to be submitted by the bidders. Uh, to be discussed by Engineer Rex in Mental and Checklist of Technical and Financial Proposal. For Engineer Ivan John Bidia. Now, for the fourth subtopic, we have the criteria and procedure. We have also for subtopic under this and the one is for eligibility check to be discussed by Maria Engineer Maria Isulia Gracia and Romulo for number D to uh, preliminary submission of bids to be discussed by Engineer Gina in Sugabo for uh, subtopic D three uh, detailed evaluation of bids to be discussed by engineer of the St. George B. Paling and the fourth is the post qualification of the LCD in award to be discussed by engineer Jima in Caligo and Dinis Tumala. For the second topic, we have summary of proceedings including supplemental bid bulletins to be issued. This will be discussed by Engineer Elsa C. Pumadla. So, 
so an engineer na alim malikai and for the third is the question comments from readers and replies in the back of the presentation this will be stood by your story also with the other matters so we start with our first topic you know don't miss Well, good morning, everyone. For basic contract data, for contract ID number 24HM0009, 001 Ensure Safe and Reliable National Road System Asset Preservation Program, Rehabilitation, Reconstruction, Upgrading of Damaged Paved Roads, Secondary Roads, Your Superintendential Road, Kilometers 007 plus 2. 70 plus 663. Appropriation is 23,437,000. ABC is 22,958,460,000. Duration is 150 calendar days. Major category is RCP roads construction PCCP. Physical target is 0.663 kilometers or 663 lane meters. For 24HM0010, 001 ensure safe and reliable national road system asset preservation program, rehabilitation, reconstruction, upgrading of damaged paved roads, to secondary roads, circumferential roads, circumferential road, kilometer 71 to kilometer 71 plus 648. Appropriation is 23 million 427,000 pesos. ABC is 22,958,460 pesos. Duration is 154 calendar days. Major category is RCP roads construction PCCP. Physical target is 648 lane meters. For 24HM0011, Convergence and Special Support Program, Construction, Improvement of Access Roads, Leading to Trades, Industries, and Economic Zones. Roads, linkaging, linkages of industry and trade infrastructure program, Roll It. Lambohon Road connecting to manufacturing site and Sikihor Provincial Road in support of furniture industries, Lambohon, Sikihor, Sikihor. Appropriation is 60 million pesos. ABC is 57 million 900,000 pesos. Duration is 243 calendar days. Major Category is RCP roads construction PCCP. Physical target, physical target is 1,847 lane meter. For 24HM0012, 001 ensure safe and reliable national road system as a preservation program, network development program, road widening, secondary roads, city or circumferential road, kilometer 28 to kilometer 28 plus 5. 510. Appropriation is 30 million pesos. ABC is 29 million 400,000 pesos. Duration is 237 calendar days. Major category is RCP roads construction PCCP. Physical target is 510 lane meters. For 24HM0013, Convergence of Special Support Program Sustainable Infrastructure Projects Elevating Gaps, CPAD. Plan mitigation structures protecting major strategic public buildings facilities. Construction of flood control phase two of the Tag River, downstream of the Tag River, Helen Larena City Hall. Appropriation is 100 million pesos. ABC is 96 million 500,000 pesos. Duration is 307 calendar days. Major category is S. FCSPS, flood control construction, slow protection using structural measures, revetment retaining structure or wire net. Physical target is 280 lane meters. For 24HM0014, convergence of special support program, sustainable infrastructure projects, elevating gaps, CPAC, plan mitigation structures protecting major strategic public buildings, facilities, construction of flood control structure phase three at the Tag River downstream of the Tag River, Helen Larenas Ihor. Appropriation is 100 million pesos. 
ABC is 96 million 500,000 pesos. Duration is 307 calendar days. Major category of FCSPS, flight control construction slope, protection using structural measures, sample revetment retaining walls, wire net. Physical target is 284 lane meters. For 24 HM0015, Convergence Special Support Program, Basic Infrastructure Program, BIP, Multipurpose Buildings Facilities to Support Social Services, Construction of Multipurpose Building in Barangay Takdok, Skihor, Sikihor. Appropriation is 5 million. ABC is 4,950,000 pesos. Duration is 140 calendar days. BIC, the major category is BIC, WOPLS, Building construction without piles, low rise steel frame, one to five stories. Physical target is one story. And the last project, 24HM0016, Convergence, a special support program, basic infrastructure program, BIP, evacuation centers, quarantine facilities, public health facilities, construction, completion of disaster evacuation building in Barangay Panauta, Sikihor, Sikihor. Appropriation is 2 million pesos. ABC is 1,980,000 pesos. Duration is 120 calendar days. Major category is BICWOPLC. Building construction without piles, low rise concrete frame, one to five stories. Physical target is two stories. Dropping of beads and opening of beads scheduled on October 10, 2023 at 10 o'clock a.m. That's all. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Chair, for the requirements of bidding documents. The bidder shall submit one original and two copies of the first technical and second financial components of its bid. Content of bidding documents. The set of bidding documents for the specific contract at hand consists of the documents listed below and bulletins issued in accordance with ITB Clause 11. For one, invitation to bid. Number two, instructions to bidders. Number three, bid data sheet. Number four, general conditions of contract. Number five, special conditions of contract. Number six, Specifications and drawings. Number seven, bill of quantities. Number eight, checklist of technical and financial documents. And number nine, bidding forms. The DPWH shall post the complete set of bidding documents at its website, www.dpwh.gov.ph, and at PILJEPS, www philjeps.gov.ph for the general reference of the public for every contract to be procured starting on the first day of advertisement of the invitation to bid. Any prospective bidder or other interested party may thus view or download the bidding documents from the aforementioned websites. The bidders should note that the procuring entity shall only accept bids from the bidders that have purchased the bidding documents from the office indicated in the invitation to bid or have downloaded the bidding documents from the websites websites of DBWH and PILJEPS subject to the payment of the fee for the bidding documents upon submission of their bids. Bid submission may be done manually or electronically or online. However, bidders should only select one mode of submission, either manual or electronic. Similar to manual submission, the guidelines for the preparation and submission of an electronic bid are contained in the bidding documents. The DPWH procuring entity shall also make hard copies of the contract-specific invitation to bid available to prospective bidders upon payment of a bidding document fee in accordance to Appendix A of 2016 revised IRR of RA 91 84. That's all, Mr. Chair. 
Good morning, everyone, to continue uh, for the documents to be submitted by the bidders. Replace of technical documents, technical component envelope, plus the documents, legal documents, auditory valid pages, registration certificate, or letter B, registration certificate from Securities and Exchange Commission. Department of Trade and Industry, Resort for Partnership or Cooperative Development Authority for Cooperatives or its equivalent document. And letter C, mirrors or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. And Letter D, tax clearance per EO number 398 series of 2005 has finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Technical documents, letter E, statement of the prospective bidder of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contract awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar, similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be said. And letter F, statement of the bidder's single largest completed contract, similar to the contract to be bid, except under conditions provided under the rules. And letter G, Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board license or Special pickup license in case of joint ventures and registration for the type of and cost of the contract to be bid. And letter X, original copy of bid security. If in the form of surety bond, submit also a certification issued by the insurance commission or the original copy of motorized bid securing declaration. And letter I, Project requirements, which shall include the following. There is organizational charge for the contract to be bid. There be list of contractors key personnel to be assigned to the contract to be bid with a complete qualification and experience data. Letter C, list of contractors major equipment units where are on list and or under purchase agreement supported by proof of ownership or certification of availability of equipment from the equipment list or vendor for the duration of the project, as the case may be a letter G, origin, original duly signed omnibus sworn statement, and if applicable, original notarized secretary certificate in case of uh, cooperation, partnership, or cooperative or original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture, giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the OSS and to do acts to represent the bidder. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning. For a checklist of financial documents, there's financial documents that are key, the prospective bidder's audited financial statement showing, among others, the prospective bidders, total and current assets and liabilities stamp received by the BIR or its duly accredited and authorized institution for the preceding calendar year, which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission. And uh, L, the prospective bidders, competition of net financial contracting capacity or NFCC. For class B documents, if applicable, Jolly signed joint venture agreement in accordance with RA, 9, RA number 4566 and its IRR in case the joint venture is already in existence or Jolly notarized statements from all the potential joint venture parties stating that they will enter, enter into and abide by the provision of that joint venture agreement in the instance that the bid is successful. For financial component envelope, Letter N, original of duly signed and accomplished financial bid form 
and other documentary requirements and under RA 9184 who original or duly signed bid prices in, in the bill of quantities and duly accomplished detailed estimates form including a summary sheet indicating the unit prices of construction materials, labor rates and equipment rental used in coming up with the bid and last is cash flow by quarter. That's our restriction. Good morning once again. The criteria and procedure for the eligibility check as per section 30.1 of the revised IRR of RA9184 states that the back shall open the first envelopes, which is the technical envelopes in public, to determine each bidder's compliance with the documents required to be submitted for eligibility and for the technical requirements as prescribed in the said IRR. After opening the first envelope, the bank shall simultaneously conduct the electronic eligibility check and preliminary examination of the technical components of the bids. Electronic eligibility check shall be done by using the data and program in the DPWH Civil Works application or CWA. Only the participating contractor who submits the original receipt for payment of the bidding documents for the contract issued by any DPWH field office will be considered by the procuring entity to be undertaken with the electronic eligibility evaluation, class number 26.1 of the instruction to bidders. That's all. Criteria and procedure for preliminary examination of bids for section 30 of 2016 revised IRR of the Republic Act 9184 states that prior to bid evaluation, the bank shall examine first the technical component of bids using pass-fail criteria to determine whether all required documents are present. Bids that fail to include any requirement or are incomplete or patently insufficient shall be considered as fail. Reading out and recording the following per clause number 27.6 of the MBT instruction to bidders. Letter A, name of the bidder. Letter B, whether there is a technical modification or substitution. Letter C, presence, amount, and validity of bid security. Letter D, presence or absence of each document comprising the technical proposal as per checklist of the required documents. Only the bids that are determined to contain all bid requirements of the technical component shall be considered for the opening and evaluation of the financial component. That's all for the criteria and procedure for preliminary examination of bids. For criteria and procedure for detailed evaluation and comparison of bids for section 31 of the instruction to bidders, A. The procuring entity shall evaluate and compare in detail only the bids that are rated as complying or passed for both technical and financial proposal pursuant to ITD Clause 26. The bid with the lowest price in the ranking shall be identified as the lowest calculated bid. B. To determine the lowest calculated bid, the BAC shall use non-discretionary Pass fail criteria as stated in the IB, which shall be which shall include a consideration of the following: one, completeness of the bid; two, arithmetical corrections; three, evaluation on equal footing to ensure fair and competitive bid comparison. Rule on discrepancies discrepancies per section thirty two point two point three of the revised IRR of RA nine one eight four. In case of discrepancies between A, bid prices in figures and in words, the latter shall prevail. B, total price per item and, item and unit price for the item as extended or multiplied by the quantity of that item, the latter shall prevail. C, stated total price and the actual sum of prices of component items, the latter shall prevail. D, unit cost in the detailed estimate and unit cost in the POQ, the latter shall prevail. The corrected per, 
item cost for all items shall be the basis for the corrected grand total cost. The total calculated bid prices are obtained after making the detailed evaluation and corrections according to the above mentioned criteria. That's all, Mr. Chair. The criteria and procedure for the post qualification of the lowest calculated bid or the LCB. Section 33.D of the instruction to bidders. If the BAC determines that the bidder with the LCB passes all the criteria for post qualification, it shall declare the said bid as the lowest calculated responsive bid of the LCRB and recommend to the hope the award of the contract to the said bidder at its submitted price or its calculated price, whichever is lower. Per Department Order Number 127 Series of 2018, dated August 16, 2018. Pursuant to Item 34.3.B.2 of the 2016 Revised Implementing Rules and Regulations of Republic Act Number 9184, and to ensure that all the PWHS project are completed without delay. All bids and awards committees, central, regional, or district, are hereby directed to strictly apply, among others, during the conduct of post-qualification award of contract, the following guidelines. During post-qualification, the bank shall determine the bidder's compliance through here A, verification and validation of the bidder's stated competence and experience, letter B, Verification of competence and experience of the bidder's key personnel to be assigned to the contract as, as, as against the minimum requirements under the bid data, data sheet. Letter C. Verification of availability and commitment and or inspection and testing for the required capacities and operating com conditions of major equipment units. Letter D. Checking the performance of the bidder in its ongoing government and private contracts. The BAC verifies any of these deficiencies to be due to the contractor's fault or negligence. The agency shall disqualify the contractor from the award for the procurement of infrastructure projects. The results of the contractor's performance evaluation system or the CPS should also be considered by the concerned BAC in determining the responsiveness of the contractor's bid before any award of the contract. Good morning. For the award to the bidder with lowest calculated responsive bid, per Section 37 of the revised IRR of RA 9184, the box shall recommend the award of contract to the bidder with LCRB, SRRB, or ECRB after the completion of post qualification process. Within the period not exceeding 15 calendar days from the recommendation to award the contract, the Hope shall approve or disapprove the said recommendation. Prior to issuance of notice of award to the contractor, the box shall check whether the contract is still within the bid validity period and all the legal, technical, and financial requirements shall still be valid. Within 10 days from receipt of the winning bidder of the notice of award, the documentary requirements should be complied before the contract may be awarded. In the event of disapproval, which shall be based only on valid, reasonable, and justifiable grounds as provided for under Section 41 of this IRR, the hope shall notify the BAC and the bidder in writing of such decision and the grounds for it. When applicable, the box shall conduct a post qualification of the bidder with the next lowest calculated bid or highest rated bid as provided in section 34.6 of this IRR. That's also. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Summary of proceedings, including clarifications or amendment of bidding documents or bid bulletins. Instruction to bidders clause 11. The entire procurement process shall be in accordance with the updated 2016 revised IRR of RA 9184 and its implementing rules and regulations. The procurement schedule will be followed unless amendment will be issued. 
bidders may request clarifications or an interpretation of any part of the bidding documents. Such a request must be in writing and submitted to the procuring entity at the address indicated in the bidding documents at least 10 calendar days before the deadline set for the submission of the set of bids. The back of the procuring entity shall respond to the said request by issuing a bid bulletin. The back, upon its initiative, may also issue supplemental or bid bulletins to amend or clarify any provision of the bidding documents not later than seven calendar days before the deadline for the receipt of bids. Any supplemental or bid bulletin issued by the Bids and Awards Committee shall be posted on the website of the DPWH and the, and the Philippine Government Electronic Procurement System of Philchips. It shall be the responsibility of all bidders who secured the bidding documents to inquire and secure supplemental or bid bulletins that may be issued by the back. However, bidders who have submitted bids before the issuance of the supplemental or bid bulletin must be informed and allowed to modify or withdraw the, their bids in accordance with instruction to bidders clause 24. Okay, that's all. Thank you, Leonardo. So, any question? Comments from the bidders? Or a. Uh, okay, seeing as none, our uh, debate conference this morning is adjourned. Thank you, and good morning.